Hey, welcome. I uh, just want to start by uh, just right up front, putting first things first. Uh, that in this moment, that in this day, God have the glory and um, that all things point to the goodness of the Lord. That all the words that come out of my mouth, the thoughts, the imagination that is uh, coming out here, that it glorify God in a mighty, mighty way. That being said, it is a new day and uh, a new day it is a new day. And um, this could be the day that you turn the corner in your uh, decision to get more healthy, uh, to get smarter, to get wiser, and to start living a better life. To start living a better life. There's a better life for you and for me. Um, so it's just it's going to take some daily discipline and... I know you heard the phrase, as a man thinketh, so is he. Um, as a man thinketh, so he is. So what you think all during the day, that is who you ultimately will become, or that is the person that who you are now. So if you think negative thoughts all through the day, you will have a negative outcome, a negative experience. If you think positively, if you're full of hope, and um, definitely if you have the Holy Spirit and the goodness of the Lord in your life, that's the life that you're going to be living out. Um, as a man thinketh, so is, so he is. You know, we think, uh, I, I forgot the number, but it's some something like 20,000 thoughts go through our minds each and every day they they predict or they they say it's different for men and women um, I don't know what the dif I don't know what the difference is if you know the difference just put that in the comment down below but we have an opportunity to stand guard and decide what goes into our heads whether it's positive or negative, and the things that we marinate on all day long, the things that we're fearful of, the things we're anxious about, the things that we are worried about, you know, those, those things, uh, it's actually doing a work in you and it's doing a work in me, and we can turn it around. God can definitely turn it around for His glory and for His... His, his for his purpose God loves you so much that he gave you this life he brought you here for his glory and um, and you are here for a divine reason and a purpose you're not just you're not just an accident and uh, no matter what no matter what your circumstances may be whether maybe you're fatherless or you you know you don't have parents foster kid uh, or you know you went through a terrible uh, experience at a younger age no matter what those things may be your father is a heavenly father who loves you and uh, there's bigger things here for you than that experience that you went through and God trust trust and trust in the Lord trust that God uses all things for the good of those who love and who trust him so he is all always good all the time god is good all the time they say it's it's not just something we we want we say sunday mornings at church anyway i got a little distracted here um so it is is my break you can see this stuff behind me and around me so disclaimer uh disclaimer here uh should any one of my co-workers raise a flag of concern it's break time and uh, what better thing to do on my break than to try to uh, connect with one person out there who is going through the addiction of smoking cigarettes maybe you've been a smoker for 20 years maybe it's been five years maybe you're just kind of fooling fooling around with it for a couple of years 
but you know that you want to quit and um, you bet maybe you've been in this battle for for years and you're telling yourself it's too late that's beyond this is who I am you know that and uh, this habit is part of you part of me that's a lie so that's my goal right here to 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 reach that one person who wants to quit smoking for good so here's the thing you can and you will all you have to do is keep those positive mental thoughts in your head all through the day that God loves you. You're worth it. Um, this life is a real treasure, and uh, you don't, you don't, you don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to live out that life of, you know, you know. When you smoke a cigarette, you're basically saying, "Excuse my French, fuck it," or "Freak it." Uh, you know, what does it matter? I mean, um, there's worse things in life. There's, you know, your hardship at home and your wherever you lost your job or things like that. It's all circumstantial. This is bigger than circumstantial. The, the habit of saying that your body is not worth your investment and in taking care of. Do you know that your body... Your body is a gift. It's it's actually the a temple uh, that if you've given your life to Christ, or if you have not, you know I hope I can reach someone who is not a believer today, and just say. Actually, it says in Corinthians. I got it right here, Corinthians six nineteen. It says, "Don't you know that your body is a temple, a sanctuary of the Holy Spirit?" Who is in you. When you invite the Holy Spirit into your life. When you put God. When you accept Jesus Christ. And put and allow God to to, to, to move in your life. You, you invite the Holy Spirit to have his way. And take control of your day. He, he is in you. And he and you I. It says in the word that. Behold, I am doing a new thing, and he, he is in you. But when you give your life to Christ and invite the Holy Spirit into your, into your life, you become a new creature in Christ. And um, I didn't, there's a lot there, but what I want to say is that when you continue to smoke cigarettes and you breathe in that, uh, that smoke and you're basically saying, I don't care of the consequences, you know that you are choking out the Holy Spirit. You are putting your self-indulgence in front of the biggest thing. Uh, and, and you're putting the, your self-indulgence over and in front of the life-giving Holy Spirit. And uh, that just, if you keep doing that day after day after day, it just becomes a stronghold. And uh, God cannot work with that Holy Spirit cannot work with you when you keep stepping over over it. That being said, I have to cut this short because I do have to go back to work. Um, forgive me for making this video in the, you know, um, just kind of raw, but that's, that's what it is. Straightforward message. Um, so before I go, I'm just, again, I, I, I want to ask you to watch the video that I put up uh, this past Sunday. And it is basically a plan for you to decide by this Thursday night that that's it. That's your last cigarette. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. This time, I'm deciding that life is better than death that I want to live uh, a life that is rich and full I want to take care of myself I want to let God love me like like he does um, God will love you regardless but you keep stepping in front and you know axing that love by this uh, trust me I smoked cigarettes for 27 years this is not coming from 
it, from uh, uh, this is not finger pointing. This is love. This is trying to convince you that there's a better experience and you're worth it. Cigarettes kill. They kill you. They kill your your mind, your finances, your spirit, your energy, uh, your everything. And you don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to. You, um, you know, uh, I'm going to invite you to have a new philosophy. The new philosophy is I'm here. I love I love myself I care about myself other people love me they care about me so much they want me to quit as well I'm walking in a lie and this is not worth it anymore I want you to receive that today not through me but I want God to reach you today and I hope that I hope this video finds you well and that no matter how hard your circumstances are believe me trust me when I say I've been in hard circumstances as well there's no there's no level here or no judgment though hard is hard it's hard for you what is hard for you is hard the hard things I've been through and <laughs> God got me through them um, so yeah you're gonna quit decide decide by Thursday I'm gonna have my last one you, you know you can smoke Thursday night have a moment have a moment with God and say, this is it. Not going to quit. Not going to smoke on Friday. And when Friday comes, you're going to have to really ask for the, the strength and the power of God to help you get through those, through those moments. And He'll get you through. Just get through that one day. And then Sunday will be a lot easier than Friday. So, uh, excuse me. Saturday will be a lot easier than Friday. And Sunday... Sunday, get up, go to church. If you're not a believer, just get up and do something healthy. Have some coffee. Go to the park and go for a walk. Breathe in fresh air. You know, it's amazing how the natural world just lifts us up and refreshes us. And that's God's creation. But, yeah, thank you for watching this one. I'm going to be back uh, a little bit later uh, tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to bring this home. And I hope that... Actually, I know that you're going to quit this week. You've been wanting to quit for a long time now, and you failed how many times? Well, the failure is in the when you say you're going to try it again. You're going to try this time. That's where the failure is. Where success is, you decide. Decide to have a new philosophy. Be a new you. Pick up an apple. Just take care of yourself. Um, there's a lot more I want to say, but that's it for right now. Uh, enjoy your day. Sorry this went a little long, but uh, one person is going to quit smoking this week. It should be you. All right, let's go.